Hi, I'm Dr. Abhishek Tandon, a pulmonologist based at Ames Jodhpur, and I'm here today to answer some of the doubts that you might have before India begins with its third phase of vaccination from the 1st of May 2021. Now, can one stop taking precautions after getting both the doses of the vaccine? No. See, the vaccine will not prevent you from not getting the infection. But what it does prevent is severe disease, hospitalization and death. And with these purposes being solved, I think the vaccine is doing a pretty decent job. Now, why is the vaccine not given at once? And why are there two doses separated by an interval of 45 days? When trials for these vaccines were being carried out, it was found that after the first jab, the antibody response of the body was not adequate enough to prevent you from getting a severe form of the disease. And therefore, a second dose in the form of a booster is being given to you, which will enhance the antibody response and prevent you from getting a severe disease. Now, what should one specifically take care of between the doses? That's nothing at all. You just need to exercise, eat healthy and stay fit. People with what sort of medical history should refrain from the vaccination? See, at present, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare recommends that anyone with any food or drug allergy and even pregnant and lactating women need to not take this particular jab. And I would recommend that you wait until more data is being made available. Till how long after getting both the doses of the vaccination will the body be able to fight the virus? Is there a particular time period? See, the initial studies showed that the antibodies stayed in our system for 90 to 120 days. But those were very early studies and not enough number of participants were being studied. And I guess it's very early in the vaccination process to answer this particular question. You should wait until more data is made available. And I don't think we have an adequate answer for this particular question right now. What are the after effects of the vaccine? Are they the same for all age groups? What if there's no after effects? The after effects of this vaccine could be a fever, which I may say would last for 24 to 72 hours, or pain at the site of the injection, and the fever can easily go down with the paracetamol. People with a better immunity will get a stronger after effect, and if you don't get an after effect, you are lucky. You get to get the jab without any of the after effects. It doesn't mean at all that your immune response to the vaccine is not adequate enough. Please don't fall for any particular rumor. Now, what is the larger impact of the vaccination on the country's future in terms of COVID-19? See, we want to vaccinate as many individuals as quickly as we can so that we develop what is called a herd immunity. And once that is developed, we'll be able to break the chain of transmission. And that is the only hope that we have right now. So I hope I'm able to answer some of your questions. Thank you.